require access to the quiet sea. London disapproves of, but does not forbid, visits. Colts reside on the quiet sea, abandoned by London and despairing of ever passing through the home office. Visits to the quiet sea are not banned, but they are discouraged. You can reach the sea via a reluctantly guarded narrow path around the edge of the home office. Or you can assure the acting senior propeter that you're authorized to visit. Oh, what do I need for that? Ministry stamp permit. Well, I've got two of those. And 40 sovereigns. Or have a friendly chat. Takes a vision of the heavens. Well, this is... I mean, I have 27 vision of the heavens compared to only two ministry stamp permits. Yeah, let's have a friendly chat with the guard. Tell him about the wilder things you've seen and he can imagine being anywhere but here. For that, he'll give you a pass. He has to charge for the boat, however. A moment's dreaming. You can barely see the man's nose through the thick scarf that nearly encompasses his entire head. You certainly can't tell if you made him smile, but he nods slowly and takes off two layers of gloves to let him stamp a tattered pass. I think... I think he indoors? He in... He indoors has even forgotten I can do this. What does that mean, he indoors? Hope he hasn't forgotten me entirely. He nods you past, then pulls a blanket onto his shoulders. There's a jetty at the bottom of the ice flow. Descent is along a narrow iron stair welded into the ice that sways with the howling wind and is flecked by sea spray. The sea is shrouded in rolling mist. Two vast winged statues, cowled, rise above the white. A gate is between them, half sunken in the water. Abandoned boats are scattered through the mists, some roped together, others apart. Lights speckle the water. The cultists aboard their flotilla. We can leave an offering, or sit in contemplation, or approach the gate, or return. Or if we had hours, we could sacrifice hours to appease the burrower below. I just want to read the description for that. A half-mad sky affair once told you that the burrower devours time, and that the door at the Avid Horizon was sacred to her. You need five barrels of unseasoned hours. That's quite a lot, actually. I'm really curious what this would do then. Probably something special. I can't tell if this... I can't tell how red this icon is. Does this... Does this mean that you need to have the wrath of the burrower below? And this would undo the wrath? Or... I... Hmm, can't tell. Let's sit in contemplation. There's little else to do here. Hic sunt draconis. Why are you here? At the edge of the horizon, on an all but empty flotilla. Far from the place where you were born. No way back, if you even wanted to return. How many waited for the gate to open? How many came through, unable to go further, unable to return? Where are they now? The water burbles. You see your face emerge in the sea below. Visible through the mist. Creepy. Does, does something different happen if I sit in contemplation again? No, it's the same. Approach the gate, 49% chance of success. You can't have more than 85 terror to do this. Once thousands spilled through from the world you left behind. Now it's half submerged and there have been no newcomers in more than a year. Your crew plead with you to stay. Ooh, success! The air is still and frigid. Your teeth chatter. Ice flows drift by in the mists. The gate is far from the flotilla. Your breath freezes in the air. A little craft, loosely moored to the rest, appears serviceable. Oars nest in the berth. You cut the rope and jump in, pushing out into the mist. The gate rises like a sepulcher. Its statues, twin cowled figures, rise their, raise their wings in an arch. The gate between the statues is gaunt, the color that remains when all other colors are devoured. 
Oh, is that gant? Gaunt? I'm going to say gaunt. It's sealed, sarcophagus tight. When you touch it, it sears your fingers with the bitterest cold. It will not open for you. This is the end of the sky. You can go no further. Wow, so I succeeded and I still gained 15 terror. I wonder what would have happened if I failed. Do I want to leave an offering? The sea is peopled with the forgotten and the abandoned. Those who wish they'd never left. It's customary to leave an offering at the horizon. For help, for hope, for home. Sure. At the height of its powers, the Home Office processed tens of thousands of petitioners seeking entry to Albion. Some were rejected or left to seek appeals or help from Albion, caught in limbo between the office and the gate. Here at the edge of the horizon, in the shadow of the winged statues, detainees leave offerings, prayers and messages to the world left behind, supplications to the cultists that dwell on the quiet sea. What will you leave behind? Oh, food, fuel, a body. Oh my god. Gold. Does that do what I think it does? I, yeah, I believe that means you kill one of your crew. Holy shit. I, I'm really surprised they allow you to do that. Obviously, I'm not going to. That is not something Elizabeth would do. Not unless somebody on the crew had really, really betrayed them. But that's not the case. So, gold, fuel, or food? How much gold? A hundred. That's a significant amount. Fuel, food. It doesn't actually say how much it's going to give up of these. Let's try food. Let's see how much it's going to take. Oh, just one. That's way cheaper than just money, then. And I gained more terror. Your crew do not complain as you order a crate opened and emptied over the side of the flotilla. They stand by your side as cans and flasks splash into the water. You can see the reflected gazes staring into the depths. A voice in the mists. A figure in an antiquated frock coat steps out of the mist. A fine evening to you. We were impressed with your offering. The man lowers his hood. His features are strident, striking, made all the more so by the lattice of tattoos marking his face like a verdant birthmark. He extends his hands. The word made flesh, and you have fed ours. We would be glad the... Ooh, this is quite a word. We would be glad the sup... Supralop... Hmm. Supralopsarians. Supralopsarians. Yes, that's it. We would be glad, the Superlopsarians and I, to welcome you to our little enclave in the flotilla. He lowers his cloak to expose his tattooed collarbone. But first, you must read. Oh, the word made flesh. Lowers his cloak to expose his tattooed collarbone, but first you must read. So I need to read their body, because the word is tattooed on their body. So I can accept, decline, or ask about the Superlopsarians. Let's do that. Who are these people, and what do they want with you? Preservation. The archivist smiles blissfully. We are those who were left behind, so we have decided that we chose to stay. We keep with tradition. He waves airily about him. Ours is a remarkably liberating lifestyle. You helped us, however indirectly with your gift. I'd like to return the favor. making the best of the terrible hand they've been dealt. Yeah, I'll read the illuminated archivist's flesh. That's a disturbing sentence. Always coming home. The tattoos on his collar are a jumble of words and pictures. You make out a crab in a cave, a candle in a roof. You recite the words you find there. I am home. He embraces you. Bony arms wrapped around your frame like stumbling into a coffin. <laughs> yes, you are home. Follow me. We're all at the flotilla at the moment. I dislike the arrangement, there are, but there are far too few of us to survive alone. If you like, I shall teach you to read. He says read with a weighty, portentous inflection. 
an initiate of the Superlapsarians. You've been initiated into the Superlapsarians. Bring five sheafs of ministry approved literature to the illuminated archivist. Mists roll in gray as unwashed ghosts. Starlight washes in like a tide. You are known to the mystics at the gate. I particularly love this sentence here. Mists roll in gray as unwashed ghosts. Here among abandoned boats on the quiet sea, the similarly abandoned and forgotten of Albion have made their homes. The cults share this space for warmth and for shelter. Some boats are covered, others converted into makeshift anchorages, refectories, and cells. Hopeful acolytes flock to one ecstatic figure or another, raving about this doctrine or that. Your new friends are one cult among three. The sanctified, the loose collection of souls who follow the jolly anchorite, are communal, fraternal, jovial. The superlapsarians who follow the illuminating archivist do everything by their book when they can agree upon the interpretation. The displeased, who follow the careful masquerader, treat distrust as a virtue and betrayal as a sacrament. A woman is lying on a wheel that sits atop a pole that rises over the flotilla. She does not speak, but only watches the gate. So we can speak with each of the leaders? Silent Mystic... Um, hmm. Wow, there's a lot here. Okay. So we can speak to the silent mystic. Her wheel is accessible by a flimsy rope ladder rising up through the mists. She's rarely disturbed by the other acolytes, though they watch her intently. Yeah, sure. Let's speak with them. They're not one of the leaders, are they? Or maybe they are and we just don't know their name yet? The woman lies on the wheel, her eyes on the looming shadows of the gate. She does not bother to look your way as you reach the top of the ladder. Rotting fruits, dried flowers, and tarnished nameplates lie ignored at the edge of the wheel. A uh, bunch of things I can't do. Talk to the Jolly Anchorite to become a full initiate. Initiate? No, not initiate. Initiate. To become a full initiate of the Sanctified. Okay, so they're a member of the Sanctified. I guess we can attempt to speak to her. You're new here. Perhaps you'll find that interesting. Lose your mind, join a cult. She rolls back her head to gaze at you. Her mouth twitches downward. A hand lulls listlessly in your direction. I do not sense the hunger of the true ascetic in you. Where's... where the name, the knife, where the book? Be gone and waste not my time. Her eyes roll back. Return when you've learned something. If one of the cults claims you as their own full initiate, then I might be interested in speaking to you. Okay, I don't know if I really want to join a cult, to be honest. And let's just read this. Where will you lay your head at night? Every acolyte has a favorite spot in the flotilla to take their kip. The politics of one's sleeping arrangements are complicated here. Your choices here will affect the dispositions of the cults towards you. Okay. So, before I choose where I want to sleep, I probably want to decide who I like best, if I like any of them. I could just leave. Speak with the Illuminated Archivist. Well, they're the first person who took us here, so, yeah. The sickly leader of the Supra... Supralapsarians, he inducted you into the first of their mysteries. Might he be willing to divulge more? He has built a hideaway inside the cargo hold of a rotting London steamer. The stamp of the Crown and Misery Company gleams in the candlelight, recently polished. Faded paintings of old music hall acts adorn the walls. Tables cram the hold, littered with hideous and broken ornaments. Shepherdesses, kittens, the tentacled rubbery men of old London all vie for your eye. Oh, I can't request another reading of the word. What do I need? I need... F oh, right, the five ministry approval literature. Okay. Uh, let's... Hmm, so there's some other interesting stuff going on here. If we just straight up leave... 
You may not be able to return for some time. You will lose all of your embraced qualities, but your initiate status will not be changed. I don't understand what that means. What are embraced qualities? Abandon your journey altogether. You are sick of cultists. Divest yourself. Unless you've been fully initiated, this will abandon all initiate progress with your chosen cult. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any embraced, whatever that means exactly. Well, I don't really know enough. Like, this has given me the option to speak with the other cults, actually. I only have the option to speak with the Illuminated Archivist. And even then, I can't really do anything unless I have the five Ministry approved literature. So I think I'm just going to leave until I come back with the literature. I don't want to lay down my head at night and choose someone that I'm not sure of. Yeah. You leave the flotilla, emerging back onto the ice and silence of the quiet sea. A few acolytes watch you leave. Perhaps someone waves. And then the winds drown all sound and the flotilla is behind you. Perhaps you'll return. Maybe. Let's return to the home office. I think that's all there is to do there. Uh, what about like stores and stuff? Okay, this is getting super, super laggy, so I think I better leave and... Uh, God, the game just like froze for like a full five seconds. I think if we just redock, we should be fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, my voice is totally wrecked, by the way. I'm still recovering from a cold, so... Voice wasn't good to start with, and now it's real bad. Yeah, no other story places, but there are some shops. Captains rarely return to the entrance to the wilderness. The few that do gather here to trade. You may find bargains here or fulfill prospects you've claimed. Get a bunch of uh, carefully packed crates of munitions. I mean, any bargain's good to get, and actually I have enough room for that. The Hungry Traveler. Ooh, they sell caddies of dried tea. So that's their export then, right? This little canteen has not seen much fresh stock in years. Some of the tea has practically fossilized. <laughs> so yeah, that is the export, right? Export caddy of dry tea, yeah. Well, let's buy up all the munitions. Unlock this because I have villainy. Oh, let's read this then. A furtive sale of less than legal armaments. A doleful fence lifts the corner of a tarpaulin to show you the wares underneath. Davy's dust, he intones, like a vicar at a funeral. Chivs, irons, barkers, bulldogs with six teeth. You translate his criminal argot into plain English. Gunpowder, knives, guns, guns, guns. I guess since I have a little bit more space, I might as well buy another supply. Where to now? Almost on the edge of the world. What's my terror at? Oh, it's gone quite a bit up after going to the quiet sea. Hmm. Let's keep going north. We're almost at the edge. I think these are just lights. Like, for this one to be so close to this port, I don't think it is a mine. Can I just bump it? Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. The displeased. It's a hell of a rock.
Wow, my aim's terrible. Their aim is also terrible. Oh, damn. The engine for materials back up to full. Whoa, no, no, no. I'm get the fuck out of here. Unraveling time, nothing to worry about there, I'm sure. The fatalistic signalman laughs hollowly. Hmm. Loot the hold, aromatic casket, caddy of dried tea. Dried tea leaves. Your crew gathers around. An argument breaks out over the provenance and blend. Fetch a kettle. Okay, what exactly just happened? That is something ghastly. I thought maybe that was something unique to Albion. Maybe that's just how the edge of the world is. It's very, very weird like that. But no, it seems like this right here is very specifically something ghastly. The only something ghastly we've ever seen before was in the Reach, and it was Old Tom's Well. That was pretty fucking ghastly. I don't know if I want to touch this thing. I'll get a little bit closer, I guess. Ooh. My god. Captain's log knocked off course today by circumstantial tail wagging have banned the dog from the bridge. Aww. I... duh. I'm fascinated by what that is. And I want to know what happens if I go into it, but there's no way in fucking hell I'm going into it right now. Nope. No thank you. So, where am I going now? I feel like I should probably go back to London. Is there any reason to, though? I mean, I've got a good amount of fuel and supplies. There really isn't any particular reason to. Let's go over this way. Let's go west a bit, like here, and then go straight down. So, kind of like sweeping through this unexplored area. The Ashkelon. A dead wreck, coffin of steel and brass. Force open the doors to the hold. Success. Faintly luminescent cage. Vision of the heavens. A silver idol rests inside the cage. Four wings extend from its hunched shoulders. Made from moonstone. Your navigator says in a hushed voice, to amplify the light of the stars. Oh god, there's another horror over there? Right, we have something ghastly, we have a horror, another horror. Albion seems like a great place. I have 46% terror. That's not great, but like, it's not the end of the world. I could just go back to the home bureau and drink a bunch of tea and that would reduce my terror? Let's go for it.
A memory, the hiss of slow, dark surf, and the chitter of Z-bats, the willing of gloomy deeps. Oh! Oh, that's the statue. This is the actual ha the gate, isn't it? Well, okay. It's terrifying, but it's not gonna just, like, jump out and kill me. Avid Horizon. It is closed. Nonetheless, I feel like trying to go into it. Oh. Maybe that wasn't the gate? Or maybe the gate just doesn't exist? I thought closed meant like a solid wall, you know? Please stop giving me terror. What's this? Broken habitation long abandoned. One supply. I've never encountered something like that in the Reach, where you just investigate and just get a supply. No, like, story pop-up anything. I'm, I'm not a saying, right? It would say a say if I was a saying. Just like it says mine when I had the drill. Um, I want to see what this up here is, because it's so close to the Avid Horizon. It might be related to it. I thought terror going up was limited to, like, ten. Feels like it went up a little bit more than that, but I think I started at 47, so maybe not. 10% terror, plus just the general terror from everything being terrorable. Wait, yeah, this is something that I would say normally, isn't it? That looks exactly like something I would say. Okay, so there's just not a story event. <clears throat> it just, like, gives you an item, I guess. Okay, well, it's not as interesting as I hoped it would be. It's pretty powerful, though. I've got an otherworldly artifact, got a supply. The Chitter of Z-Bats. I remember being attacked by swarms of bats, I think. I think that was an enemy in Sunless Seas. Sunless Sea? I always forget whether it's plural or not. Alright, let's keep going south. Yeah, it's a pretty good distance. Distance from the other line that I'm making. And I'll keep sending out my intrepid cavi to find anything that might lie in between these two. Hold on, wait a second. Ah, oh, shit. the wolf. It's late and you're alone. Doubts prey on you. I hate how when something like this pops up and you're near a thing to loot, it makes that extremely annoying loud noise. I'm gonna have to lower the volume of the game audio in post. <clears throat> Is this the path you should have taken? You trespass upon the precincts of heaven. What price will be exacted of you? What price have you already paid? Endure this lean, cruel hour. That's what Elizabeth does. Failure, not surprisingly. I've already read this before. Doubts are hungry tonight. You arise haggard and unrested in the morning. 
Gain five terror and a tale of terror. Break into the captain's cabin, sure. Find some juicy gossip. Oh no! These ones give you other stuff. Every time you broke into the captain's cabin in the Reach, you would always get juicy gossip. Or, uh, salon stewed gossip, rather. But this time I got a barrel of unseasoned hours. The captain's cabin is decorated with grisly trophies, plates of contankery carapace, mangled engine nameplates, the severed head of a treasured rival. A scuffed safe concealed under the bed holds a careful ration of hours. The captain's surety for her old age. No use to her now. Let's see if we can get repaired to max. Ah, uh, break into the captain's cabin. Another barrel of unseasoned hours. Oh wow, yeah, there's some stuff to see here that I want to talk about, but let me try to get repaired here. My terror is so fucking high. I need to deal with it really soon. Break into the captain's cabin. Failure. Shells have been bolted to the walls. They're stuffed with sheaves of yellowing paper, collections of fairy tales, children's stories, rhymes, ballads, and poems. Not all are in the Queen's English. Some are in Welsh and Gaelic. Language is disapproved of by the Ministry. <laughs> Gain a sky story. Illegal language. Fuck you, uh, Ministry. Anyway, the reason I originally stopped before I got attacked by three different marauders is I thought this down here looked like water. It looked like a sea. And, well, I think it is. We just saw some more of it. We just saw a bunch of, bunch of ships. It's probably this whole area, right in between the gate and the home bureau. God, remember that? Man, that just brought back some serious nostalgia. My terror is super high, so I'm gonna pause the game, but <clears throat> Remember in Sunless Seas? Or Sunless Sea? Coming to ports that had just tons of boats moored all around them? Seeing things like this? Just boats and boats and boats and boats. You don't see that here. You don't see ships just, like, docked at a place anymore. Brought back some serious memories. So what exactly am I seeing, though? I'm not, surely I'm not seeing all the way down into the Untersee, right? I mean, that's got to be so, so, so far down. It's underground. But this isn't the Quiet Sea, is it? The one that we get to through the Home Bureau? I need to, like, go reread that description. That talked about the three different pieces to it. Uh, actually, hold on. The Sanctified. Let's go see what this is. Oh, it's just a wreck. The Kulak. We discover the remains of an old locomotive, the victim of one of the innumerable perils of the sky. Let's 
Signal to Rick, 99% chance of success. And someone has struck a match. Gain two supplies. The Retriever Survivor is too weak to work, but will share their hoarded supplies with you. Thank you. Oh, there's some more boats. The Super Lipsarian. Oh, so this is the Quiet Sea then. That's weird that to get to these places down below, you go through the Home Bureau. I don't quite get how that works. It's below us, so there's like a different layer where once you go down a little bit, you get to the, the sea in the skies. Huh. Okay, well, at least that explains what it is. Well, sanctify the Superlicarian, the displeased. Was that the three groups? Is there anything more here? Excuse me. Hmm. I think that's probably it. There could be something there, but... Uh, for now, my terror is so high that I'm gonna head back to the Home Bureau and drink a lot of tea. Time for some R&R. &R. Uh, looks like we can watch the Quiet Sea again. Wait, that... I thought... Huh? What? Watch the Quiet Sea? I thought that reduced my terror. That just increased it. Holy shit. A boat to take me away. A pale emerald light washes the sea like split chartreuse. Offerings left by the colts to the gate blanch in the eerie light. Out in the water, someone is singing softly of home and hearth, and a child left in a cradle. There's a splashing of paddles in water and the shadow of a boat heading out towards the gate, before all is lost to an oncoming wave of mist. Someone is singing far out on the sea. The acting senior propeter slams a window. Creepy. Yeah, so you don't always lose terror when you observe. Just depends on what you observe. Uh, yeah, let's drink a lot of tea. 30 sovereigns each time, but, I mean, 79 terror. Kind of have to... Whoa, that only did 1%. Why, why did that only do 1%? Oh, fuck me, that only did 1% again. It did so much more before. What the hell? Shit. Uh. Oh, that's a big problem. Are there places to reduce my terror in London? I don't know. I thought this place was a surefire hit for reducing my terror, because the whole tea thing. Uh, <laughs> I can't do anything here. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Now it's working better? Maybe if it's super high, that doesn't work very well. 70%. 66, now it's doing like 4% each time. 64, now it's 2%? Is it random? 62, 2% again. 56, I think it might be random. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't want to spend like a thousand sovereigns on tea. 56, I can work with that. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, and I desperately need to rest my voice. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to explore more of Albion.